Hi there, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com, and in this video we're going to take a look at all the software customizations that Nokia has put into the new Lumia 900. If you're not already familiar with all the features of Windows Phone 7.5, be sure to search Pocketnow for the Windows Phone 7.5 review, where you'll find lots of videos and pictures of all the features that you'll find in Windows Phone 7.5. But in this video, we're going to talk mostly about what Nokia has done uh, to change that. Let's check it out. Okay, first up we're going to look at what comes on the Nokia Lumia 900 by default. You know, what apps are bundled. So here's our, our default start screen. So here's the layout that it generates. You see AT&T Uverse Mobile. If you're a subscriber, you can use that. We have IE Express. So some of these are Microsoft tiles and some of these are AT&T's. You see AT&T Navigator. This is a GPS program that you can subscribe to uh, from AT&T. And you'll see you get 30 days of free service and then uh, they'll start charging you $10 per month. Similar with AT&T Radio, another subscription service, where you can get streaming music. Uh, again, you get a trial, and then you have to subscribe to it after that. And lastly, there's a couple of uh, Nokia-included apps. There's App Highlight. And this is kind of a separate app that just recommends um, fun apps in the regular Windows Phone Marketplace. So that might be help for, helpful. <laughs> so that might be helpful. So that might be helpful for some people. We also have a surprise me button. It says shake your phone. Okay, there's. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. And local scout is pinned. We also have an ESPN. This is an exclusive Nokia app. It's pretty nice looking. It does support uh, secondary pinning, so I can pin this right to the start screen. But it doesn't have a live tile, it doesn't really show any more information. Just a shortcut, really. And we have some other bundled apps in the regular app list. AT&T Code Scanner, which is really unnecessary since you have Bane Vision right here, which does the same thing. AT&T Navigator again, Radio Uverse, ESPN, that's a bundle. We also have My AT&T, so you can keep track of your account information. And Tango Video Calls is included. So you get to use the front-facing camera and Yellow Pages Mobile is another bundled app. Let's see how that works. Now let's go into the settings and see what's new there. You got ringtones. We have some special ones from AT&T. We also have some special ones from Nokia. So you got a bunch of extra ones to choose from. Internet sharing is here and working. 
So if you want to turn your AT&T 4G LTE internet connection into a Wi-Fi network, that's pretty easy to do right here. Now in the camera, we have your front-facing camera switch. And let's look at the settings. For settings, there's nothing special from Nokia. We have the focus mode is set to normal, which is good. Resolution, nothing uh, really innovative or exciting like uh, panoramic shooting or whatnot. Now you may have noticed not too many Nokia apps are bundled with this device. However, we have access to the Nokia Collection Store and all of, all of the ones that you'd expect are free downloads. So it doesn't come pre-installed with Nokia Drive, but that is a free download. Okay, let's check out some of these Nokia apps that you can download for free. Here's uh, Nokia Transit. So from here you can choose a location that you'd like to go to using public transportation. And it will load a few options. You can scroll through this way and then select the one you want. And now it'll show you directions and which buses or subways or trains that you should get on. As well as uh, how long it will take you. Now some places you have to walk and there's a little directions button right there. And this will uh, show you where you have to walk. So that's really useful. Now we also have Nokia Drive. Now this is a really important one for uh, GPS navigation in your car. And it's free. So we can do a uh, set destination. And we can choose something and it can search online. Let's see this one. And you'll get a couple options. You can swipe to go to different sushi places. And then we can drive there. Here are settings. You can change the map color. We can manage maps. And from here you can actually download all sorts of other map data. All for free, which is great. And it also works offline. So we can see the connection is online. If you don't want to use your data connection, we can shut it off right there. Or if it doesn't have a data connection, it will just use the offline stuff. Next, let's look at Nokia Maps. And from here, we can choose places, which will load all sorts of interesting places to go to. And you can tap it and see what's there. And with that little arrow, we can see kind of a uh, local scout style interface. Next is Creative Studio. Now this is a photo app. So we have a lot of cool options here. We can do from a panorama. This will let you take a series of photos and stitch them together automatically into a panorama. It's not built into the camera software, but it's, not, it's nice that we have that there. So we can choose, we have uh, all sorts of different effects here. So let's try one. There you see our effects, and let's try this one. We've got adjustment sliders. And this button right here is pretty nice. This gives you a before and after view. And look, you can slide it and see which what happens on each end of the picture. So that's very cool. We also have adjustments, crop, rotate, all the good stuff. And, you know, your weird filters. The CNN app is also pretty nice. It has a live tile there. We can see it loads all sorts of news stories. 
it's really well designed. There's your videos. So those are my favorite uh, Nokia apps that you can download for free on Nokia Windows phones, such as this Lumia 900. Now, uh, before we finish up, let's just see what my battery life is like. So right down here you see it's been uh, in use for one day and four hours. We have about eight hours left, and the battery is at 30%. Um, this is a pretty great battery life. I've had maybe three email accounts on there, a couple push apps, and it's been on LTE the whole time. And I've been using it pretty uh, normally. So that's a pretty impressive battery life. So that's it for the Nokia Lumia 900 uh, software tour. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and that's it for now.